Hey guys, hope and all is well with everyone. So in this video, we're going to be looking at another question of the day, and this one is more of a combination of some geometric principles along with some solving of algebraic equations. So the question says to determine the value of x, and the value of x is in the unknown angle expression 2x plus 10 degrees. So here what we're going to do is we're going to use our knowledge of geometric figures, in this case a triangle, to be able to formulate a algebraic equation to solve for the unknown variable x. So what we know about triangles is that the sum of all the internal angles is equal to 180 degrees. So that's going to be able to help us generate some type of formula that when all of these internal angles are added together, they're going to equal 180 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and formulate the equation as the sum of all three of these angles, even though one of them is an algebraic expression. That's totally okay and that's beneficial to us because it's going to allow us to determine the value of x in this approach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that 2x plus 10 as the expression plus 50 plus 30 is going to be equal to 180 degrees. So that allows me to establish my equation that will allow me to determine the unknown value of x. Now sometimes in these questions you're going to get asked to determine the unknown angle but the irony is that you're already doing that by solving for x. I would say the only caveat to that is if one of these other numeric values were another algebraic expression then you would be, turn would be able to get much more benefit. Uh, because your angle measures will likely be very different, but the value of x will be the same. So the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and combine our like terms. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify this expression by saying that 2x plus 10, and then I'm going to take the summation of 50 and 30, and say that 2x plus 10 plus 80 is equal to 180 degrees. Now remember with equations, we treat it like the concept of a balance scale. Our goal is ultimately to get x completely isolated or to get it completely by itself. So what we're going to do is understand what is being done to the variable first and then undo or apply the inverse operations of what is being done to the variable to isolate x and determine our unknown um, value. So what I'm going to do here is say that 2x plus 10 plus 80 is it, or, uh, plus 80 is equal to 180. I can go ahead and combine like terms again and say that 2x plus 90 is equal to 180. So now we can look at this and kind of problem solve. The operations that are being done on x is that it's being multiplied by 2 and it's having 90 being added to it. So the operations that we're going to take to undo those are going to be to subtract by 90 and 2 divide by 2. But remember, since we're treating it like a balance scale, whatever we do to one operation or whatever we apply as an operation to one side, we have to do it to the other, which is going to allow the equation to stay balanced or equal. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say that 2x plus 90 minus 90 is equal to 180 minus 90. So even though we're applying the subtraction of 90, we're applying it to both sides of the equation, keeping the equation balanced. But what happens on the left side is that the plus 90 and the minus 90 are going to cancel out. We want that to happen because now we're getting closer and closer to solving for what x is equal to. So 180 minus 90 is 90. So now that we have 2 times x is equal to 90. So our final step for this is going to be to divide both sides by 2, since that's the inverse operation of what's being done to x being multiplied by 2. So we're going to divide 2 by both sides. And again, what's going to happen on the left side is that 2x divided by 2 is just 1x. Now remember that 1 as a coefficient, you can use it as housekeeping or like a placeholder, but since the 2 over 2's are going to cancel, it's just going to be that x is going to be equal to 90 divided by 2, and that's going to be equal to 45 degrees. 
Now, what you can do here is you can make sure that that makes sense by plugging in x to the expression above and making sure that all of your values add up to 180 degrees. So we have 2 times 45 plus 10 is equal to 90 plus 10, which is equal to 100 degrees. So we know that this guy up here is 100 degrees. And now if we take the summation of the three angles, we have 100 degrees plus 130, uh, which is 130, plus 50 more is 180. So x equals 45 is the correct solution to this question. If you guys have any questions about the steps that we took to approach this, or if you saw that you could take a potentially different way, uh, I'd love to hear any comments or thoughts that you guys have about this question. Uh, but as always, if you guys have any requests or any questions that you want to take a look at in a step-by-step -step approach, I'd be more than happy to show you guys these. But I hope you guys are all having a great day, and please take good care of yourselves, and thank you all so much for watching.